go. Lads and lassies, welcome back to the YouTube. Today we are back in glorious Ireland. I'm back home. We we're in Bally House and we're like, it's the most terrific day of my whole life. But anyway, I often, literally by often, I mean at least twice a day I get asked, Dave, can I ride my bow board on the cable? And I've never done, I've done a video for the opposite. So I've done cable board on bow, but I've never done bow board on cable. In short, the answer is yes, of course, you can do whatever you want. You're your own person. But it does kind of damage the board a bit. It's not as good. I'm going to go through like some kind of tips and also just kind of the advantages and disadvantages of it. So we're going to hopefully make a little bit of a fun video. We've got Daza behind the camera. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go down there. I'm going to show you tip number one is to not tell everyone at the cable that you're a boat rider because boat riders love to do that. Just like, just uh, don't, don't do that. Oh man, I hope these, these cable racks are okay. Oh, hey man, how's it going? How's it going? I'm a, I'm hey a man, sorry, I'm actually busy right now. Uh, I'll get you one. Yeah. What sort of speeds do you go here? Uh, we have 0 to 10. What's that's that like, in boat miles an hour? <laughs> that's like 28 kilometers an hour is your maximum speed, man. In the boat we ride 35, just saying. Boat's cool. That's, yeah. Boat's actually the core of the sport, it's where it all began. Yeah. This is kind of just like a replacement for the boat. And there's no boat riding today? I'm a boat rider though, I'm really important. <laughs> so, the main two... So the main two core differences between a boat board and a cable board is A, look at the flexibility on a cable board. Boat board, solid as a rock. And the second is the base. So this is like ready for impact, it can take it. This can't really, so it will get a bit damaged. So as you can see right now, we are gonna go on the cable. It's pretty fresh, there's a few little scratches. I've had this board for a while, but we're gonna see how scratched it is after I go on the cable. We're gonna test three elements of this. Number one is what is a boat board like on the rails? Number two is what is a boat board like on the kickers? And number three is what is a boat board like on air tricks? And um, I think it's gonna be brutal on rails because you can't press, there's no flexibility. Kind of similar on the cable, on the kickers, sorry, but landings will be nicer. And then when it comes to air tricks, I actually think it's gonna be sick, but I don't know. like this position no I'm just chilling like this okay anyway <laughs> synopsonizing it on the rails this is actually where I thought it would be at the worst believe it or not it was so good and I guess it makes sense because until like five six years ago cable boys didn't exist like Nick Davies back in the day used to kill it on a bow board on the rails and everything and honestly pleasantly surprised on the rails then we go on to kickers this was actually surprising as well because it, I thought it was going to be really easy off the kickers, and it is, like landing is so much nicer. Like when I did the back five, it was a lot more locked in. But in saying that, you can't pre-spin because the fins here just don't let you pre-spin on, on the kicker. So it is actually, we're saying it's a good way of maybe even learning how to spin and like do stuff legit. Then, synopsonizing the air tricks. That was actually the biggest surprise of all. So I thought like air tricks is going to be easy because back in the day, like Lear Sofer, Nick Davies, all those guys, they used to kill it on the on the air tricks and they were all on boat boards. So I was like, oh, it's going to be sick. But I found it very grippy and like hard to release. Couldn't get the pop and also my confidence of not being able to cheat on landings because basically with a boat board with all these channels and fins, it makes it impossible to cheat. Whereas on a cable board, because it's flat, you can get away with so much. And so that scared me, but then when I started trying like Bel Air blind and then I literally landed my first ever Tweety Bird and that was because it's so easy to do Bel Airs and stuff. So, all in all, giving a quick summary because I know that's what the peeps want to know. I will say it did not get that damaged. 
it didn't get that wrecked, but I only rode it for like 20 minutes on the cable. If I was actually riding it like every day, it would get ruined. And like I'm from experience, I know like the fins just start to wear down. The second thing is it's actually fine. Like from a wakeboarding thing, like an ability. Basically, if you're asking, can I go to the cable once on my boatboard? Absolutely. However, if I was you, if you're gonna go to the cable lock, get a separate board because you're just gonna wreck your boat board. It's also easier on a cable board. Cable, cable wakeboarding is easier. People are not gonna like that. But anyway, guys, I'm only messing with everyone and I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit of a full morning. We're just having a session here in Bally Haas. The weather's good. I'm happy to be home. And uh, yeah, thank you to Darren for filming. Thank you to Bally Haas for having us. Thank you to you guys. Thank you to O'Brien. And by the way, the reason I did this is because I'm never riding this board on the boat again because I got my pro model, which is gonna be announced in the next video. So. See you guys in the next one. Okay, I gotta go get that. Thank you, Darren.